What is up guys, this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today things are gonna get interesting. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the latest Quads 4 extended ROM on this device. This is the 25th June 2020 build by the way with MNC kernel Mi 9A40 here it says and as you can see it says Quads 4 extended over here android version is 10 of course with latest security patch of June 5th 2020. And when I say it's different, it obviously is. I have used a lot of custom ROMs in a lot of devices. Not a lot, maybe three, but yeah, if you like consider all the custom ROMs, the like combination of all of those are a lot. And by far, right now, in my opinion, this is one of the most amazing ROMs that I have flashed on my Redmi K20 Pro, and here is why. And if you guys have been following me, you should know that Evolution X has been one of the most favorite ROMs of me personally, and I have used Evolution X since almost when I unlocked the bootloader, which was after one week of getting the device delivered to me. So right now, let's talk what things which I have been enjoying here. First, let me tell you, if you want to flash this ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro, click on the card right over there and you can like flash this ROM on this device pretty simply with that method. Now let's talk about the stock launcher. Of course, we have the Google's discover page to the left and swiping down gets you to the notification panel. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer and here widgets are working totally fine. The interesting thing here is that the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is there and this works flawlessly here you should not worry about it and in the settings panel let me show you of this launcher there is only this icon pack then they show google app and allow home screen rotation and stuff like that but yes this gesture i don't know how it is working but it is actually working fine you should not worry about it and this is the paranoid launcher here present by default and on this app drawer, the one thing that I do not like that I cannot disable this suggestions area, which is a bummer for me at least. Now let's talk about the customizations. Well, there are not a lot of customizations, but there are some here and there. Of course, it is not a super customizable ROM because in the name it says AOSPA. So in the display settings, we have the nightlight adaptive or auto brightness and in the styles and wallpapers. From here, you have to change the accent colors. You can just tap on this custom theme and you can hit next and there you have all the accent colors as you can see quite a lot of options are there and you can just like select one and just hit next next and set a custom theme and apply that and that theme will be applied with that accent color and of course the dark theme works super fine here you should not worry the colors are set to boosted by default and we have the lock screen display here and there is also this pulse notification so you can have it on system accent color or the notification color so that's really cool and in the ambient display we have some more customizations here we have the vibration and haptic feedbacks and you can control this in call haptics then vibrate for calls and you can control this ringtone vibration pattern from here and from here you can change the double tapping gesture to like anything from here if you have the always on display turned off i guess because it says screen off gestures so that means that and the gesture navigation and stuff i have already showed this and you can also use this full screen gesture if you want to you can also like enlarge this pill bar and two or three button navigation too is there if you want to use them and this swipe break screenshot is the oxygen waste kind of screenshot and it works flawlessly here with the scrolling feature and editing feature and then you can delete it of course toggle torch option when the screen is locked is working totally fine no issues with that now here i have enabled the developer options to see if there is the advanced reboot but I couldn't just find it so I was kind of disappointed go into the power menu and if you tap just restart it will restart the device but let me just tap and hold on this and here it says would you like to long press the restart button to extend the restart options I'll click ok and right now if I go into the power menu and tap on restart tap and hold it and then I get the options to directly reboot to recovery and fast boot from here and there is also an option to quickly restart so that's really cool. So yeah we have the advanced reboot option but yes it is kind of hidden. And in terms of the quick settings panel this is how much options we get. We get this kind of screen recorder and I think this is a stock kind of screen recording option. You can also record the audio over here but it does not have an option to change which audio you want to record and stuff like that or you cannot change the fps i guess and here you can add a bunch of more stuff let me show you these are all the options which are present by default i also see the nfc option but i am pretty sure it's not gonna work because this is an indian redmi k20 pro which does not have the nfc hardware 
Now, the most interesting thing which I have found over here is the fingerprint scanner speed and that is blazing fast. You guys won't believe how fast it is unless and until you experience it by yourself. I would say in any other custom ROM, the fingerprint scanner like feels like a lot slower when compared to this one. This one's fingerprint scanner is just amazingly fast and it works 100% of the time and like whenever I'm tapping the fingerprint scanner, it's just unlocking like butter. It unlocks every time. I did not have any issues while like I have to tap twice or thrice most of the time in other ROMs that happens. But here that's not the case. Even with night light turned on, the fingerprint scanner works 100% of the time. There is no two or three tries here. So that is really good that even in night light or even in normal mode, the fingerprint scanner in always on display as well as on the lock screen works flawlessly. Now let me show you the face unlock here. It shows how to set up face unlock. Here it says set up for limited vision or head motion. Start. Okay, it is quite fast. It's done. It says all set looking good. Right now, let's try the face unlock. So I'll double tap and as you can see, it unlocks right away. I don't have to swipe up here. So as soon as I double tap on the screen, it wakes up the device and then like it will activate the face unlock here. And the face unlock speed is really, really fast. So while we are in the security stuff, let's talk about another amazing thing, which is a bomb for this ROM because this feature is not available in most of the custom ROMs or I haven't seen in any other custom ROM. Of course, if I don't consider MIUI as a custom ROM right now because it is an official ROM. So yeah, in any other normal custom ROMs, you won't find this feature. What is it? App lock. It is there by default in the security. So after you have entered the pin, as you can see, there are all the apps and over on the top it shows lock tabs because I have already locked some apps and here on the top it says authenticate only once. So that means if you disable this feature, it will relock the apps automatically after 15 seconds of like keeping it in the background. So that is a really feature. So I'll recommend you guys keep it disabled. If you enable that the app will like if you unlock the app with the fingerprint scanner, it will stay unlocked unless and until if you don't unlock the device. And there is one more feature which says hide notification contents while app is locked. So that means if you get any notifications, it will be hidden on the notification panel. You cannot expand them. And of course, the app lock does work with the fingerprint scanner and you can also use the pin. And one thing that I found right now that like if I open Twitter, let me show you, it can use the face unlock and it will unlock the device. So this is really, really cool that you can like unlock any app whichever you have locked and you can use the like face unlock option to like unlock anything over here. So this is really cool. Now let me talk about some things which I do not like over here. That will be the stock camera. I do not like it at all because it is the old kind of Google camera. Not recommended at all in my opinion. You can definitely flash ANX camera which I already did and the ANX camera is actually working fine here. So you should not worry about the ANX camera but that stock Google old kind of Google camera. I would say I don't like it. And I've also installed Google Camera 7 which is by Yonix and that is working fine for me even with night sight and with all the lenses. Here I have disabled some apps like Chromium which I do not like, I don't know why. But yes, there are some apps that you may need to disable over here. Even though the ROM is so good and I still love it but I still missed some of the features. Like there is no adjusting brightness by sliding a finger on the status bar, that feature is simply missing. And there is no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner. So that means you have to enter your pin once you reboot the device for once. Now let me show you the stock dialer. The stock dialer does not have a call recording option. But yes, normal Volte calling is working fine. But there is no Volte over Wi-Fi calling option. And also there is no Volte icon here on the status bar. Now here I found a little bit of touch issue when I'm swiping down the notification panel and I'm swiping it up from that manage kind of section. I think it is getting a little bit weird here. And there is also a clear all button for the notifications, which is good. But I would say I don't like this manage button over here. So if the developers of this ROM is watching, please can you remove the manage button? Now let's talk about the battery life, shall we? You may think the battery life won't be that good. Everything is so good. Well, here it is. I got about 10 plus hours of screen on time from this ROM which is just insane. I never got 10 plus hours of screen on time on the Redmi K20 Pro, even in MIUI or talk about any other ROM. I got eight plus, eight and a half or something. 
but 10 hours of screen on time this is the first time i have got on the redmi k20 pro and i'm just surprised here and the battery life in my opinion is it, it's just beating the evolution xs battery life for me at least like with thor's hammer the battery life here is just insane you should not be worrying about the battery life here at all here in the battery settings you will also find this battery style changing option you can change it to battery circle which i have done already and this is how it looks like and in the battery bar it will look normal as you are noticing here and then inside over here we can also have this battery hidden which will like hide the battery icon and just have the percentage over there and the battery saver is also there i mean you don't really need it now here it supports the fast charging of course the 18 not fast charging is supported even on the lock screen it shows the charging info or even on the always on display it shows the charging info with milliamps and stuff so that works but the notification led on the pop-up camera is not working while charging now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app opening up speeds and the RAM management on this ROM. Just look at the app opening up speeds. Okay, so Twitter took some time because of the face unlock. Let me open Instagram. Now let's open this home app, YouTube. Now I will open Spotify. Now let's open all the apps from memory again. File Explorer, Facebook, Twitter, okay, it asks me for that face unlock again because it locks that app after 15 seconds if it's not opening or you are not using it. So yeah. And as you can see, the RAM management over here is just amazing. I do not have any issues. I can switch between apps all day long and even though this is a 6GB RAM unit, I have no complaints with the RAM management or daily driving performance of this ROM everything is just buttery smooth and fast over here and the experience is miles ahead of other custom roms here the gaming performance and stuff should be pretty good here and in terms of the benchmarks here are the antutu and geekbench score for this rom definitely another thing which i'm missing over here that would be the mi audio dirac that is simply not present in the sound settings but the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is really good i did not have any issues with the sound output of this rom the sound is great it's flat I like the flat profile so yeah I don't have a problem with it. Also the volume panel looks quite sick and you can also expand it just like this. You can control any volume from here and there is also the live caption on the bottom right and then I can control the vibrate or silent mode from here. And one more good thing about this ROM there is also a system updater so you can check for updates from right here and whenever you want to update you can update it from here if you want to use the system updater the DRM info still shows as level 1 here if you are worried about it so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p here and the banking app should be working right out of the box too because the safety net status is passed and i have set up my google pay and it is working totally fine no issues with banking apps here i was about to finish the editing but right now i just noticed that the default display refresh rate on this rom is set to 66 hertz that's why it feels a lot smoother than any other ROM. So this is the reason why I think this ROM is one of the most amazing ROMs I have tried on the Redmi K20 Pro and I love it. And of course this is based on OSS vendor if you guys don't know and in the like about section it shows Mi 90 Pro instead of Redmi K20 Pro. So that is one thing I thought about mentioning. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.